Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. <sighs> so, oh, that one really stuck. We are currently waking up, basically. <laughs> I want to get up. He didn't want to. He did not want to get up. He struggled to get up this morning. No. So we just had breakfast. He, <laughs> he had huevitos with a little bit of milk. And now we're just getting ready to Bus. go. Yes, baby. We're ready to go outside and bus. wait for the bus. And the then yellow bus. the yellow bus. And then we're he's gonna get picked up from the bus he's gonna go to school and then i'm gonna come home or go back in the house and i'm gonna do a couple errands and then i have to do laundry so i kind of decided i would bring you guys along today and i look toda folonga but this is literally me every morning when i get him ready for school i look like i literally rolled out of bed and then he gets all ready, all dressed up for school. We go outside, wait for the bus. Bus picks him up, and then I do my mommy duties. You want to say good morning? Good morning. Did you see? Uh -huh. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bye. The little one is picked up from the bus, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Fixed my hair a little bit so it didn't look like I rolled out of bed, which I did. Um, so I guess you guys are just going to follow me today somewhat. I have to run a couple errands. I have to go get my car. The tires rotated and um, balanced. Because it's starting, I can feel it like shifting to one side. I have to do laundry. I have to get ready. And then I recently got contacts. And my doctor wants me to wear my contacts for a whole week. And I'm like, because that means I have to get ready. And I'm just lazy and I don't want to. But hopefully this can help me to like arreglarme. Because typically... Girl, no. Like, no me quiero arreglar. I don't want to do anything. So, I've been trying to practice. Not practice, but I've been trying to treat myself and pamper myself to help me bring up, you know, some of my mom confidence up. So, I got my nails done. Um, If you guys saw my last video that I posted, I posted about my nails. And then... I'm going to, I don't think I posted about getting my contacts. I totally like blanked out on that. <laughs> like I didn't record that day and it would have been perfect to record. But I got my nails done, I got my contacts. So now I have to just go fix my car. And I need to run a bunch of errands basically. Cause today's my day off from work. So I have to try to get everything in by today, hopefully. Today's also my mom's birthday, so I don't know. We'll see how the day goes. Um, so let's go. Let's get this day started already because I'm tired. Okay, guys. So laundry is done. Well, halfway done. Um, I need to finish my second load. Oh, I got dirty. Fold the first one and then I am actually, I got ready for the first time in like, I want to say a year. I you guys go. Um, oh, I just haunted my car. So right now, oh crap. I need that. I'm gonna go, sorry, I'm gonna go get my car balanced and get my tires rotated. I'm gonna take you guys with me again. Okay. <sighs> like I was saying, <laughs> like 
five million times. I need, I'm going to Big O Tires. I'm getting my car balanced, tires rotated because it is due. Had to go back for my credit card. Didn't have it. <sighs> and it's hot. It's really hot. But it's so nice out. And like since I got my contacts, I can wear my glasses. So <sighs> woman, it is hot. Thank goodness I decided to wear like a black t-shirt that's here let me try to walk this into place because it's gonna get bright girl it's gonna get bright um so hopefully they have time to do all this to my car because i need it um and then I have to, I'm gonna go to Sephora. Probably not gonna vlog in there. I need to go get some like lip colors. If I don't find anything Sephora, I'm gonna go to Ulta because I have to go to Smart and Final anyways. And there's a, there's the Ulta next to the Smart and Final that I'm gonna go to. So let's go. Oh, and so I didn't get to show you guys. This is what I ended up doing my brows. And then I ended up doing like a pinky pinky peachy bronzy color and then I matched it with like a pinkish nude lip it's been a while so go mommy <laughs> all right you guys I will catch you guys in a little bit okay tires and car are well basically the car's done um I had my window down so excuse the the hair mess that I have going on um, car is done. I'm gonna go to Sephora to see, see if I can find anything. If I don't find anything, I'm gonna go to Ulta. But excuse me, it doesn't matter because I have to go to Smart and Final. So, so ahorita we're gonna go find some makeup so we can look pretty all the time. Because right now, what I'm doing is just this thing where. I'm trying to do my makeup all the time so I can feel like more confident in myself and kind of bring back the old me because the old me would do especially like through high school girl I would wake up at like five six in the morning get ready do my makeup and go to school at like 7 30 so that was me all throughout high school. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I stopped my senior year. And then it was for like a year. And then I did my makeup every single day after that. And then afterwards, I just stopped. I was like, I'm over this. And then when I was going to beauty school, I had to do my makeup because I had to look, you know, presentable. I needed to be presentable to all the clients. So, you know, I had to do my makeup again. But then, like, me puse bien my buena and I didn't want to do it. And then I just got really full on and I didn't bother anymore. So, now, my goal is to feel confident, feel comfortable you know like not to make you feel like oh my god I have to wear makeup and mostly because at my job like we have to look nice and presentable and like not look super ugly you know so it's kind of like a boost to to kind of push myself to look nice because I need to look nice for work but I'm also getting my nails done like I'm that's something for me because as a mom, I don't have a lot of mom friend, friends. I don't have, you know, a lot of places where I can say, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm going to go do this. Or, yeah, I'm going to go hang out and do this. Or, yeah, like, let's go. Like, I don't have that right now. So just to kind of, like, pamper myself and not feel so, like, I guess you could say lonely and, 
like I have nothing else to do besides go to work, pick up my son, and be a mom. Like, I'm doing my nails. I am trying to do my makeup. I am wearing my lashes again. I got my contacts just so it could, like, push me to do my makeup. Because if you have your contacts on, you have to look good. Like, that's my mindset that I'm telling myself. If you're going to wear your contacts, if you're going to get your nails done, your face got to look good. So that means getting your hair done, or I should say getting my hair done. (laughs) And I'm also trying to like feel comfortable in my own skin and love myself because I honestly lost myself after my son's father, basically after my ex. Like, that relationship was no good. It wasn't the healthiest. It wasn't it wasn't a good relationship it was very toxic i'm just super thankful with the lord that he ne- oh you went the wrong wrong lane well then um oh yeah so like he never put his hands on me so i'm i'm really thankful for that because I think it would have been a lot harder to leave my relationship if he did lay hands on me because he was abusive, but not physically. He was mentally, verbally, like, girl, the the abuse was there, the abuse was real, and I'm trying to look for parking, guys, sorry, and I'm, oh, you almost hit me. like I really lost myself to be honest I was with my son's dad for like okay good for six years I already took my seatbelt off I was with my son's dad for six years and I was with my son's dad for six years and four years into a relationship like I had my son so you know there was there's there was a lot tying me to him thinking that I think I'm leaving my glasses on thinking that I needed to stay in a relationship with him because we had a kid together, you know, like my family needed to be together and I was trying to make it work, but it wasn't worth it. I was draining myself. I was I really fell into like a really bad depression and it made it worse because I already have anxiety. I already have depression. So it's like I was at a six by myself, but being in that relationship, it made it to a 10 to the point where, sad to say, like I have a scar on my arm from doing something very stupid and I kind of want to cover it up just so I don't see that scar and for me it's not a scar of a reminder like that I made it it's a scar of a reminder that you really let yourself get that far and after everything that I've been through reconciliándome con el señor it's just like everything's changed I feel like a whole new woman I don't feel like like I'm slumping anymore I feel like it's me And I'm going to break the world and I'm going to rule it and I am going to be happy. And that's all that matters. So mini, I guess you could say rant, getting off my chest. I don't know what you want to call it. I just want to call it, but I feel good. I'm starting to feel more confident. I'm not wearing a sweater or a cardigan, which I would always do because I hate it because I'm fat. So Here's to us, you guys. If you're going through something rough, if you feel like nobody's there, look for help. You know, not just coming for me as a person who's getting in touch with her religion again, with like my Christianity. Putting that aside, like you need to find someone that cares for you, that will listen to you and will be there for you. Not the partner that is tearing you down, telling you you're not worth it, telling you that nobody else is going to love you because 
boo, let me tell you something. That is not true. There is always someone there out you out there for you like they say in like spanish tu tienes tu media naranja. you have the other part of your orange which it sounds really weird when you translate it but like you have your other half and they're gonna find you and you're gonna find them and you're gonna be happy you're gonna have babies and everything's gonna be all better <laughs> so don't let yourself down look for someone to talk to whether it's mom dad sister cousin best friend whoever it may be girl talk to them you're not alone just telling you that Let's go get our makeup.